Hi, in this video, let's focus on textbook discussion on the topic keratinocytes and non keratinocytes, right? So, we'll try to find out the differences between the two and also we'll discuss in detail various non keratinocytes. For this, I'll be referring Orban's oral histology 12th edition and page 221. So, keratinocytes, as you can see, epithelial cells that undergo keratinization are called as keratinocytes. They show cell division, they undergo maturation, and then eventually discremate, right? So, these qualities are found only in keratinocytes but not in non-keratinocytes underline it's very very important and keratinocytes increase in volume with each successive layer and however we have an exception when you compare the cells of stratum basal to cells of stratum granulosum as we move towards the top that is towards the granulosum the volume of cells obviously increases and they cover wider surface area compared to the subsequent cells however the cells of cornified layer they are more smaller in the dimensions compared to the subjacent layer of cells right which you can see here keratinocytes increase in volume in each successive layer from basal to granular the corny the cornified layer however are smaller in volume than the granular cells the cells of each successive layer cover a larger area than do the cells which are present immediately below right so Coming to non-keratinocytes, so as we discussed, non-keratinocytes are those cells which do not possess cytokeratin filaments, hence they do not have the potential to keratinize, right? So absence of cytokeratin filaments, very, very important, make a note of it. And along with that, they do not show any mitotic activity, they do not undergo maturation or they do not desquamate. And also, they are not arranged in layers and do not form desmosomal attachments with adjacent keratinocytes. They are usually dendritic, dendritic means branching, and appear unstained or clear in routine hematoxylin and eosin stains, right? They are identified by special stains or immunocytochemical methods, and mostly they originate from either neural crest cells or from bone marrow which we'll discuss later so various non-keratinocytes include melanocytes langerhand cells merkel cells and various non-inflammatory cells which include lymphocytes etc right now coming to melanocytes so melanocytes they produce melanin pigment and this melanin pigment is stored in keratinocytes and this stored form of melanin pigment is called as melanosome right whereas macrophages which ingest this melanin are called as melanophages we'll go through them now so melanin is elaborated by specific cells called melanocytes residing in basal layer so these melanocytes are present in basal layer the melanocytes are derived from embryological neural crust and migrate into epithelium. Each melanocyte establishes contact with about 30 to 40 keratinocytes through their dendritic process. Melanin produced from melanocytes are transferred through their dendritic process to adjacent basal cell keratinocytes which store the pigment in form of melanosomes. So melanosomes are found in keratinocytes but not melanocytes. Oral pigmentation can be studied by use of either DOPA reaction or silver staining techniques. In DOPA reaction, the cells containing tyrosinase enzyme, uh, for example, melanocytes which contain tyrosinase enzyme, they are darker in appearance, right? So DOPA reaction or even silver staining can be done to detect these cells. Silver stains are also used for detecting melanocytes as they dye the melanin pigment. They are also stained by mohsen fontana stain, so different stains for identifying melanocytes. Melanin pigment dispersed in connective tissue will be phagocytized by macrophages. These macrophages are called as melanophages, also stain positively for DOPA. And melanocytes appear as clear cells in hematoxylin stains or hematoxylin reactions. Silver stains reveal a spider-like appearance or dendritic appearance. Thus, melanocytes are also termed as clear cells or dendritic cells. So the synonyms of melanocytes include clear cells or dendritic cells. Keratinocytes release mediators essential for normal melanocyte function. Melanocytes vary in number in different regions, but the intensity of stain or intensity of color doesn't depend upon the number of melanocytes right that's very important in fact the intensity of color depends on the factors such as the number of cells the size of the cells dispersal of melanosomes and the quantity of melanin within the melanosomes and the rate of degradation of pigment so there are numerous factors which influence the color right for example the darkly stained or heavily pigmented areas attached to gingiva as you all know right so this is in brief about melanocytes and various stains used for identifying them and the basic structure of melanocytes right? so these do not divide 
they uh, do not show active division and however they have this dendritic process right they are also called as dendritic cells or clear cells uh, since they do not uh, show any reaction with hematoxylin stains right so this is in brief about melanocytes coming to langerhans cells the langerhans cell is another clear cell or dendritic cell found in the upper layers of skin and mucosal epithelium restricted zones of ortho keratinization the cells have a convoluted nucleus and characteristic rod like granules in the cytoplasm termed birbeck granules so birbeck granules are found in case of langerhans cells which is very very important this cell is free of melanin hence doesn't give any reaction with dopa and it stains with gold chloride atipase and immunofluorescent markers langerhans cells is a cell of hematopoietic origin very very important previously melanocytes are derived from embryologic neural crest whereas langerhans cells are derived from hematopoietic bone marrow right so the langerhans cells is of hematopoietic origin langerhans cells penetrate the epithelium from lamina propria it has women tin type intermediate filaments so usually non keratinocytes do not have this cytokeratin filaments however langerhans cells contain this women tin type intermediate filaments make a note so in the women tin type intermediate filaments are found in the following cells so you can have a question of that kind and langerhans cells are not only uh, like the function of these langerhans cells is they mediate immune response in fact they are antigen presenting cells if you remember right so as you can see here they present antigens to t cells they contain la antigens which they present to primed t cells thymocytes they may function as do macrophages by picking up antigen and presenting it to lymphocytes either locally or at lymph nodes right so this is in brief the function of langerhans cells which are found in superficial layer of epithelium right and characteristically they have these rod shaped granules in cytoplasm called as birbeck granules now coming to merkel cells merkel cells are also found among basal cells just like we have discussed previously about melanocytes right so melanocytes as well as merkel cells are found in basal layer or basal cells it has no tissue immediately subjacent and is presumed to be a specialized neural pressure sensitive receptor cell it responds to touch sensation very very important underline this point and they are commonly seen in masticatory mucosa and are absent in lining mucosa merkel cells differ from other non keratinocytes in that they are not dendritic so even though we term these non keratinocytes as dendritic in specific merkel cells are non dendritic they do not have this branching processes very very important ultrastructurally the nucleus shows a deep invagination and characteristic rodlet they contain numerous characteristic electron dense granules that are located almost exclusively in the side of cytoplasm in contact with axon terminals intermediate type junctions are noted between axon terminals and merkel cells you can just make a note of this point the function of these granules as we discussed electron dense granules are present within the cell the function of these granules are not known and merkel cells migrate from the neural crest just like melanocytes right whereas langerhans cells are originating from the hematopoietic right so bone marrow hematopoietic origin Merkel cells migrate from neural crest and they are stained by periodic acid shift stain PA stain right so this is in brief about merkel cells and then we have uh, other cells like lymphocytes or polymorphonuclear leukocytes which are found at various levels of epithelium even these are considered even though they are present transient these are considered as non keratinocytes and keratinocytes and lymphocytes interact keratinocytes can activate lymphocytes through production of interleukin 1 very very important but they may also inhibit lymphocyte proliferation so keratinocytes can promote can promote the activity of lymphocytes by releasing interleukins 1 stimulated lymphocyte produces gamma interferon which can stimulate keratinocytes to express hla dr antigen right so these are few more important points pertaining to keratinocytes as well as non keratinocytes right so to summarize all that we have discussed so far so broadly we have in any epithelium keratinocytes and non keratinocytes keratinocytes are cells which have potential to keratinize and as we progress in in case of keratinized epithelium the cell volume becomes 
larger as we move from the basal layer towards the granular layer however the conified layer of cells are much smaller compared to the cells of granulosa and also non keratinocytes uh, they lack their cytokeratin filaments hence they cannot keratinize so this is the most distinguishing uh, important characteristic of non keratinocyte and they are dendritic except for the merkel cells which we discussed uh, previously and along with that these are not stained by routine hematoxylin eosin stains. They require special stains, ATPase, gold uh, chloride as we have seen and also they uh, can be stained with PAS stain or they can also be stained with silver staining techniques or even DOPA reaction, right? So we have seen about melanocytes, their origin, their functions and how exactly they can be identified through different staining methods and the other names of uh, melanocytes, right? And along with that Langerhans cells whose function is immune uh, modulation or they act as antigen presenting cells right and along with that we have also discussed about Merkel cells which are non dendritic and Birbeck granules or rod shaped granules which are found characteristically in Langerhand cells right so these are a few important points pertaining to keratinocytes and non keratinocytes I hope it's clear